so before we could start <clears throat> i'm going to ask vijay vijay do you want to set up the context for 30 seconds or so you can go ahead please i think vijay maybe is busy all right let's get started before we could start all of you had an opportunity to um see that pdf file which i put in the whatsapp group yes yes oh, all right mm -hmm. i think vijay's video froze maybe there is a network connection problem there okay um at least for the photo i want all of you to be on the video okay no excuses because then you would be missed out in the batch photo and then you will not have a face value there right like people won't know you yeah okay so today what will you hear what is the hurdle to your success we'll have some reflective questions around it and then how to get get rid of it we will see what is the plan of action and we, we will see a popular tool set goals that's the pdf which you've already received and that's called as mind mapping and then we will go ahead and get into practical execution of that along with the other scenarios which vijay has given us as well okay now this is going to be till 12 we might exceed by couple of more minutes because we will have a photo and then we will have closing note talk from vijay and all that yeah now these self reflective questions which are going to come i would request you all to answer to it in your mind you don't have to voice it mandatorily however if you feel the urge that you want to share yes jasmine i feel like this that you can feel free to share also i leave the option up to you but it is not mandatory okay so sometimes in life do you feel you couldn't achieve more do you see the others when i say others not necessarily your colleagues in general in society do you see certain people who are achieving a lot every year every month and you feel that they are not putting in much effort but for you you are putting your heart and soul and then you are feeling oh i couldn't achieve more has this thought at least one or twice crossed your mind okay not just at work but in various aspects of your life yeah and do you feel sometimes you are incompetent what i mean by that is do you feel that oh i am not from this educational background i am not from this you know family setup i did not finish post post graduation i did not finish that do you feel that way that you are incompetent okay and sometimes do you feel because of all that you lack the knowledge to reach where you want right just keep answering to the questions yes or no in your mind because these are closed questions okay it just has an answer as yes or no and do you feel sometimes sometimes you are the victim of circumstances do you say or think words like oh it's written on my head you know they say la in tamil um taleyilthu ipdi irukum pole vaalka right yeah madan is nodding so it means that he understood that tamil yeah so do you feel that you are the victim like you know the entire set of people are aiming at you they are putting you down do you feel cornered like that sometimes all right or do you often say i can't or i can but i wouldn't because of the thought process oh this life is enough from where i started you know i'm here and i'm absolutely fine i might go ahead and do the same mundane routine over and over again and that's absolutely fine with me all right so you can be satisfied with life but if your potential is really really high okay and yet you are going ahead and saying no i don't want to explore that that would be this content wouldn't all right so think about the answer for all these questions in your mind yeah now did you answer yes to most of the questions if not all the questions most of the questions then would you want to change yourself to better the reason being you are high potential people that's the reason these sessions are arranged for you would anybody train people whom they think oh they cannot learn they will only train people who have some potential okay they will only train people from a management perspective or a leader perspective they feel that these guys are good they can become great all right yeah so do you want to change yourself for better then 
I would like to welcome you all for this new program on goal setting. This will not be like a traditional program, though it has some aspects of it. We will also have some differences in it. Yeah. So what is goal setting? We always start with the definition just to have uniformity. Yeah. According to you, what is goal setting? Now you can go ahead and share your answers either in the chat or through voice. What is goal setting according to you? Nelson, you are in the USA T-shirt, is it? Huh? Yeah, this one. <laughs> okay, good. All right, come on, people. Vigneshwar, what is goal setting according to you? Suddenly, a plan. Sorry, say that again. Shuttle a plan. Okay, all right, thank you, Krishna Prakash. What's your definition? What are we going to achieve for future five years or ten years to Wonderful. schedule the plan list? Mm, good. Yeah. Thank you. So many of you have different definitions, okay, or common definitions. So goal setting involves the development of an action plan. Okay, underline that word, action plan. The time to motivate and guide a person or group also towards a goal. Here in this context of the training, we are going to look at you as an individual and how you can set up an action plan. All right. And when you uh, when you observed uh, Krishna Prakash answer to the question goal setting, he spoke about five years, 10 years. Okay. So that leads us to the next topic, which is about types of goals. Yeah. Before that, I would uh, postpone this question to a later stage. We'll talk about it a little later. Now, setting goals, according to me, is the first step in turning the invisible to the visible. And these are the words of Tony Robbins. And we all know, like, you know, now and then I have quoted his, uh, you know, uh, proverbs. He's a motivational speaker. So what do I mean by invisible to visible is when I think, okay, I want to become a manager in the next three to four years. If you have this as a goal, yeah, it is there in your mind, but you don't put it in writing. What happens is it will stay as an invisible goal because it's not written and declared. Okay. So declaration becomes very important. Only then it becomes a visible goal. Yeah. So these are the types of goals which Krishna Prakash has already, you know, shared a little bit. We have different kinds of goals. Yeah. One is a short term goal and the other one is a long term goal. Mageshwaran, can I take your help to read the definition for the short-term goal, please? Yes, yes. Short-term yeah, goal. Go the short-term goal is to something you want to do in the near future, can be this month or even this year. The short-term goal is something you want to accomplish soon. Okay. All right. Thank you, Maheshwara. So it can be as simple as the next week routine, which you have planned. That can also be a short-term routine. And how dedicatedly you want to do that week's routine so that that entire month, your productivity, your KRA, whatever is mentioned as, you know, an employee of his networks you're supposed to do is taken care. All right. So then next comes long-term goal. Long-term goal is a goal that which takes a long time to achieve. Now you are setting your short-term goals. Now the short-term goals and long-term goals can be interconnected in this way. I spoke about work routine and I spoke about monthly KRAs. Now imagine down the line in six months, you would have your performance appraisal. So by doing the short-term goals in such a way that you are concentrating on that long-term goal. So if you perform well for the six months and every week you do your routine, that is going to ensure that the six months you are definitely going to live up to your KRA. And sometimes you might exceed as well, depending on the kind of goal and the dedication to the routine which you're doing. Yeah. So six months later, you don't have to worry. Everything is taken care because your short-term goals and your long-term goals are interrelated. I'm going to pause here. Does this make sense? Yes, no, maybe. Okay, I, I see thumbs ups. My internet is a little unstable is the message which is coming up. So let me check my voice. Is my voice clear? Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. Thank you. 
Thank you, Palni. Now, so a little bit of definition about short term and long term we have seen. Okay, I'll explain it further. Now, goals can't be related to only work, right? We are human beings. We have various segments in our life, like that which is shown in the picture. We have our emotions, we have our finance, health, friendship, mind, all this is there. But then since the entire set of skills which we saw so far, we are concentrating mostly on the work and work-related things. Today, we will spend a lot of time on concentrating on the goals related to your career and profession and work. Okay. However, we set it to the profession. You can replicate the same model when you are setting goals for the other areas in your life. And again, when you're setting it on your own, if you have questions, even after the session is over today, you can feel free to approach me and you can ask me. I will never feel that session is over and why are you approaching me or I'll never feel disturbed. Maybe I might take time to reply to you, but I will definitely reply to you. So let me say what I said again. Not just career is important. There are various segments in our life. Okay. In all these segments, it's essential for you to keep setting goals. Only then there will be a holistic goal setting happening. But we will not be able to help you with all the segments today because it's only 90 minutes. But then what we are replicating for your career, that you can model it for the other areas of your life also. And while you're setting it later on, if you need help, you can always feel free to approach me. All right. Okay. So a goal without a plan is just a wish. Yeah. Imagine I'm sitting here and thinking, oh, I want to wait in, in you know, reduce five kgs of weight. I wish it will be nice if I can reduce five kgs of weight. If I wish and I don't move my body, then it is just a wish and it can never be a plan at all. For me to put it in plan, I need to get up from here and then go ahead. There is a treadmill right here in this room. Go to the treadmill, walk. And then coming back, can't eat chips and like a lot of sweets and all that. I should avoid that also. So action is important. Yeah. Now we are going to watch a small video. This is from a famous person called Jay Shetty. He was a monk and then later on he became an author. And his videos and books are really good. So I'm going to play a very small video. My request to all of you would be take a notepad and pen or a soft copy of WordPad or your mobile, whatever it is. But please take notes. I will randomly ask you questions, okay? No crowd-wise. I will generally pick up names and I'll ask you questions. Very important video. Please make notes. Let me switch the screen. Once the video screen comes up, let me know, okay? Are you able to see my screen? Which screen are you all seeing? Email, email that. Email. Inbox. Email inbox. Okay. Let me close that screen. Ah. Now tell me, are you able to see the YouTube screen? Yeah. Okay. with you a how-to video these videos are practical tips that will help you apply the themes and the topics that i talk about in all of my videos the first video that i made was called three motivational messages that will transform your 2016. i wanted to share with you a video on how to set effective goals that you will surely accomplish in 1979 interviewers asked the harvard mba program how many of them set goals they found that 84 percent of the program set no goals at all 13% of them set goals, but they weren't committed on paper. And only 3% actually set goals that were committed on paper and had plans to accomplish them. 10 years on in 1989, they interviewed the same individuals again. 
the results were absolutely staggering. They found that those 13% who set some goals but hadn't had them down on paper were making twice as much as the 84% who had never set a goal. And even more staggering was the fact that the 3% who had committed goals written on paper had actually been making more money than the 97% put together. Today's session is all about how you can make those goals. I'm going to share with you three questions that will help you reflect on the goals that maybe you've already set for the new year or maybe goals that you're about to set. The first question you need to ask yourself is, are your goals too vague and are they not specific enough? The reason why I ask this is because maybe one of your goals is to get fit. Now when you say that, do you mean as fit as a model? Do you mean as fit as Cristiano Ronaldo? Do you mean as fit as an athlete? How do you define fit or is it just fit enough to walk up your stairs without feeling tired? Becoming more specific about the goals you want to achieve means that you're more likely to understand how much planning is involved in terms of time and resources and how you're going to make it fit into your incredibly busy week. Try to make your goals as specific as possible. The second question you need to ask yourself is, are your goals too grand to be achievable? Now, I'm a big believer in defining your destiny and reaching and accomplishing your goals, but Bill Gates said a fantastic piece of wisdom that I want to share with you. He said that actually people overestimate what they can do in one year and underestimate what they can do in 10 years. We always feel that we can make a bigger change quickly by impulsively acting rather than building blocks that will actually be great foundations for future success. What you need to do this year is actually try and find digestible blocks of work, little pieces of action that will help you effectively bring about change in small areas of your life. When these add up and build together, you'll gain momentum and that will affect things in the future for you as well. The third question you need to ask yourself is, are you surrounded by the right people and are you influenced by the right people? If for example your goal is to give up chocolate, it won't help if you work at a chocolate factory, you live next to a chocolate manufacturer, your best friend loves chocolate and you're making chocolate cake on the weekends. It's just not going to be possible. You need to be spending time with people who have the same goal, but also people who've achieved that goal and made it into a habit. Are you aware of the little milestones that you need to reach to incentivize you daily? We need to feel inspired by our goals every day and if you're feeling that your goal is too far away or a tangible outcome is in too far a distance, you need to make it closer. You need to be noticing and observing the small things, the small changes that you can be grateful for that you see every single day or every single week. Make sure you know your milestones, otherwise you're going to get lost. A goal without a plan is just a wish and Tony Robbins said that setting goals is the first step in turning the invisible into the visible and therefore you really Really need to write your goals down. Writing your goals down makes them a focus point. It makes sure that everything you're doing in life becomes aligned with those areas. We have to make sure that what you want and what you're thinking about, what you say and what you do are in line. That's how we create harmony in our lives. I really hope this has been relevant for your goal setting. I really look forward to seeing your goals and seeing you achieve them this year. I okay, so I'll pause here because after this he'll be advertising about his channel, okay? So while I reshare my screen, you can just uh, think about what you have written. All right. I'm going to ask each one of you to share what is your takeaway from this video. Just one point would do. In case if I'm coming to you third and then somebody has already said your point, then, then think of another point. Don't repeat the same point. Think about it. I'll reshare my screen. Okay, so we were here. Hope you can see the screen, which is the PowerPoint, the video screen. You're able to see that. Okay. Let me ask Palani this question. Palani, what is your takeaway from this video? One point. You are on mute. Yeah, that's me. Uh, uh, first, uh, what you um, fit in? Um, what is your goal? We have to fit, fit select one. Uh, we, mm. we we need to uh, how to first first we need to select one goal. 
then mm. we need to set priority for this um, goal also uh, spend okay. time for that um, uh, uh, goal goal for, um, goal for that's all okay all right thank you one point so thanks for that pragadesh uh, can you give us one point apart from what palni has shared <clears throat> yes definitely <clears throat> in the 1979 the interview has been taken there is 84% no goals setting people mm. and uh, 30% people are set on goal in paper mm. okay and um i'm just, since you said this point which is a very good point you remembered it what is the difference between the people who did not set goals and who had set goals what was the difference because they don't have the about a idea for the goal i think so okay all right so that's your thought all right thank you for sharing that um krishna prakash one point apart from <laughs> what both of them have said we want to write the diary what the goal we want to set the goal, set mm. we want to write the diary okay. to achieve it usually mm. i do that that's why yeah. good you usually do that very nice thank you because... mm. go ahead go ahead because go ahead because uh, monthly once uh, we write the diary that's uh, mm. as well as we want to write the goal also and okay take away this the uh, from this keywords okay. from the point very nice good That's good right. good that you are writing it nice okay, okay. gopi krishnan one more point ask yourself uh, about your goals uh, goals to be grand and achievable and are you choose or surrounded by the right people hmm. and your goals are to be to back okay all right surrounded by right people is what i heard thank you gopi all right so now since i randomly picked up names would anyone else want to share one um, take away from the video voluntarily if you want to share you can share so be realistic in setting short term goals mm. then a long term goal short term goals will be more achievable so that's one take away yeah thank you vijay so jay shetty was also talking about milestones okay that's exactly what vijay narrated now if we keep one long term goal it will uh, be like forever and ever all right so rather than that keep shorter goals and when you achieve them keep it as a victory a milestone so that you will also feel motivated and you'll also feel okay i'm going there okay these are like like let's assume you're traveling on your bike you're planning to go for a long journey like kashmir let's just take okay so you can't really straight away start and stop in kashmir you will not even stop there you'll faint right so you need to have milestones those stop bys and then like relish on the journey oh i have crossed so many yeah and then you keep you know going going those short term goals will lead you to the long term all right and i also want to highlight about this point out of the 84% of people who did not set goals 13% people set goals okay and then only um 3% of the people put it in writing and when the survey was done research was done after 10 years from 1979 the same set of people were analyzed on 1989 and they found out that the 3% of the people put the goals in writing they were really really doing well okay so this is from a research by harvard and we all say like you know harvard means credible source so that's why cheshiti is also quoted that today why we insisted you in filling that tool which i sent you mind mapping and then i kept you know really this time i was like now and then you know um, reminding you also the reason was that is very important for you to put it in writing all right and then you put it in writing and we come here and discuss about it you are declaring your goal in an open forum all right when you declaring in an open forum it becomes mandatory or you become automatically committed that you feel oh some day somebody will ask me let me go ahead and finish this goal this happens subconsciously in your mind that's the reason this training we were insisting on a pre work which was that mind mapping tool all right and the second reason why i showed you this video is 
often they talk about smart goals and people do not know um, what this exactly smart means. They know the expansion of it, but they do not know how they can fit their goal into it. So that's the reason I showed you this video. Now we are going to talk about the smart goals. Before that, do, do you have any questions around this video? Any questions? No? Okay, let me move on. So this is the traditional approach of the goals. They call it a smart goal. Some of them say smarter goals, but let's stick to smart goal. Okay. So specific, measurable, actionable, realistic, and time bound. Yeah. Specific, we all know. Right. Now let's assume I'm going to just say, um, I want to become fit. Like Jay Shetty said. Fit, what is the definition of fit? The universe doesn't know it. Now in on this slide, I'm going to talk about uh, the word universe now and then but for the benefit of all of you you can relate it to any highest power you believe in your life it can be your god okay, because different people have different gods though we say that god is one it can be a particular deity who you are worshipping so it can be anything yeah so you can relate it to that higher force but for the training per se I am going to use universe as the highest force yeah so specific is terrific all right. This I heard it in BNA and I really liked it a lot. Specific is terrific. Whenever you're going to be specific in your life, what happens is the clarity quotient goes up and the universe understands what you want really well. And then when the universe has the clarity, it manifests the goal whichever you are aspiring to in a very, very faster way. This happened to me in reality. The house which we are living in right now, this is a house which has been specifically visualized by my husband and I, okay? I used to travel from Ambatur to the Elkhart City office, which is uh, in Tech Mahindra. And I used to take care of three branches. The two branches are in Ambatur, and there was one branch which was in Elkhart City, which is quite far from Ambatur. Ambatur if the, is the south, this would be the north, like 40 plus kilometers one way. So whenever I travel, okay, I drive on my own, I used to keep looking at the villas, yeah? The villa house type, I'm sure all of you would have seen it. The villa house type was very beautiful according to me. I used to think, oh my God, how nice would it be to have a house like that? It was just a wish, okay? And then when I checked the price, whichever was mentioned outside the villa, mostly it will be a crore. And I'll be thinking, oh my God, without any background, my parents are not there. My husband's parents are not there. So then like, you know, just both of us, it is, it's maybe a greediness. So I would just like, you know, put a full stop to that dream and I will go away. But then having said this, I always had this aspiration that we should have a house which is spacious. And I began to write about it. Okay, See, how smart goals or visualization works is there is no logic for you to achieve. Okay, Your life might look as if there is no, no way for you to reach to that point. It is still okay. Don't be logical. It's absolutely fine. You can visualize anything you want as long as it's good. Yeah. So I started writing that my house has to be a big villa type house, white in color because I this white you know makes the house bright, and the rooms have to be spacious. Okay, I even wrote down what is the specific, uh, uh, you know, uh, number which I'm referring to as spacious, and then in the parking lot I even visualized how many cars should be there. I visualized two cars, okay, one for me and one for my husband. So like this, everything I wrote it specifically. Yeah. And the house where we are in right now, it fits 90% into that exact description which I have written. Isn't that a wonder or a miracle or maybe a goal which turned into reality? So when it is possible for one person who you know really well, and I know you all trust me, that's why you are sitting in this session for almost 10 weeks now. So when it is manifested for me, any goal you set will manifest for you. Look at the situations I said. There was no money, okay? There was no backup. Yeah, my salary was not that much. Neither was my husband's. Yet, everything came together. We were able to buy this land and start building during the COVID time. Even the time was not in our favor. But yet, it happened. How did it all happen? We put it into writing, okay? When you put it into writing, what happens? Your hand moves. Your eye moves. The words register in the left part of your brain. And then I also used to see some pictures and put it there. The right part of the brain is also taken care. 
and i am writing it very very specifically so the universe gets the clarity okay now imagine if somebody is asking you a question all right what do you, let's let's assume you go to the hotel okay you are the server is coming and you are you are supposed to order you are telling him give me any food what would happen let's hear the answers for this okay you are telling this uh, uh, you know the server who is coming to serve you you are telling him give me any food what can happen Uh, first they will provide a suggestion okay uh, if not they will provide the what the top most uh, selling uh -huh. item at the restaurant they will provide that okay nelson is being very polite okay but imagine that a server who, who usually in normal hotels is grumpy you just go and tell him give me any food he will look at you like this and he might even move to the other table in reality okay in big hotels maybe as he said they will do but in reality this would at least thaw, cross the person's mind yeah so the universe is also like that when you are not specific it will just go away yeah so you need to be very very specific what do you want in life yeah oh, thanks for that answer nelson the second one is measurable anything you want in life you should be in a position to measure it back in our school days to measure a progress we had something called as a progress report or a progress card okay why did not they name it as something else they named it as progress report because the students progress was checked through that rank card like that whenever you are setting a goal you need to keep a measure that's why in the corporates they keep something to measure your performance something to quantify what are you supposed to do in the form of key responsible areas or key indicators or whatever the name goes as so measurable then comes actionable whatever goal i want to achieve i should be in a position to take some steps towards it if it is if it was building a house for me i had to save some money okay i had to apply for loan i had to go ahead and check with the builders who is a good good builder credible builder who will not cheat us so those are my action steps okay and then it has to be a realistic goal right i can't visualize and want that i should become the prime minister of india overnight can i yeah no offense against the prime minister but however no offense against the fact that we cannot become prime ministers we can but i cannot say overnight that's where the time also comes the goal which should be realistic should also be time bound and that time only is makes will make it as realistic for example let's assume i want to become the manager in my organization in the next 2 months all right very rarely maybe if you research back in the industry it might have happened one or two but predominantly there are less chances all right so you need to keep a realistic goal as well as realistic time so that you would be in a position to go ahead and achieve it so being specific ensuring that you keep some measuring items and then you take some actions towards walking towards that goal and ensuring that your goal is not a huge goal which you cannot achieve within that stipulated time frame ensuring that the goal is realistic and you set a realistic time frame so that you would be in a position to achieve it also so smart goals does it make sense now smart goals and especially in the time bound the date is important you might think oh jasmine if i put date and month and all i'll become anxious what if i cannot achieve that let me ask you this question what if you can achieve that right you're thinking in your mind what if i cannot achieve that within the date okay i am asking you what if you can achieve that within the date nothing like it isn't it so rather than saying i want to come up in my life soon that soon is very vague put a time to it only then that specific and time will close that as a smart goal so far are you all with me any questions okay now we are going to move on to one of the famous tools which is used in goal setting okay which is called as mind maps and this mind maps was invented by tony buzon who is a british psychologist yeah and he was fed up with the conventional ways of thinking about a goal working towards it and all that he was really fed up 
So he tried to come up with something which can address the left part of the brain and the right part of the brain. And uniformly, both of them can work towards the goal. And he found out this mind mapping helped him to achieve things sooner. All right. And that's the reason this mind map is also considered as one of the corporate tools for setting goals. Yeah. Now, let's look at this. Um, I had shared you three sheets. Can anyone tell me what are the three sheets? Just the name of the sheet, Podo, from your understanding. I had shared you three sheets. What are the sheets? Shrihari, do you remember? What are the three sheets? <clears throat> PDF. Ah, PDF in the WhatsApp, which I sent. Shrihari, the question is to you. Hi. <laughs> okay, whoever knows, say. That's okay. That's okay. Whoever knows it, say, please. Pathing lapa model, what's up? Create Go so ahead, Nelson. Go ahead. Uh. Mind mapping, something related to the chart. Uh. Three sheets were there. One was the guidelines. The second one was for the left brain. Third one was for the right brain. Mm. Okay. All right. Again, an open question because you're all very quiet. I don't want you to sleep. Yeah. So left part of the brain here on the slide, we have written certain things. What does it mean for you? Brain is one, right? Why, were, why are we talking about left and right specifically? Again, no right or wrong answers. I won't judge you. Okay. Go ahead and say, say what you know. Rahul, Rahul, I have not called out his name. Rahul, why left part of the brain and right part of the brain we are seeing here, Rahul? Mm, Rahul, go ahead. The question is, why we are specifically seeing left part of the brain and right part of the brain? That's the question. Uh, not sure also you can still say okay don't worry yeah, this is not sure but uh, it's uh, ah but creativity is logic means uh, it's different uh, mm. logic means uh, creativity means it's uh, like a cinema uh, we not like that okay so left is logic, right is creativity. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Okay. All right, Rahul. Thank you. Any any other answers? Why are we seeing left and right brain specifically? Brain is one, right? Nobody really emphasizes on these two parts and all that. For goal setting, why are we seeing this specifically? The two parts of the brain has got two different functions to it. One is the mm. logic. Another one is about art, music, creativity. So these two are defined as uh, two discrete functions. Mm. Yeah. I think uh, when we operate it together, like uh, we can succeed or our goals become more stronger. Absolutely. Correct. Thanks, Vijay, for that input. So um, the right hand okay if you're a right-handed person your left part of the brain functions really well and if you're a left-handed person the right part of the brain functions really well this is what research says now every time from tomorrow okay if you have an opportunity try to write your name using a left hand also initially it'll be like a lkg student scribbling all right but as you keep practicing it practicing it over a period of time this practice will help you to invoke the right part of your brain also because most of you are right-handed and we do not um, use uh, this right side of the brain and its creativity, all right? So use your left hand more so that the right side or right part of the brain will be activated. I can also give you another simple thing which I recently came across a reel. You can even brush your teeth with the left hand, okay? You need to... Just change certain things. Just brush your teeth with the left hand. Okay. 
and then that can also help you to go ahead and activate the right part of your brain and if you think okay if i brush using the left hand i won't brush it well it's okay first brush it with your right hand and then like you know just brush it with your left hand it's still fine and then the third activity is this is called a brain gym exercise okay you need to use both your hands keep a fresh sheet of paper if you have a paper and pen now you can do that now also if it has been a classroom session i would have demonstrated this on a board all you have to do is just take two pens okay and then put eight simultaneously on the piece of paper all right take two pens and then on a plain sheet of paper you need to write eight simultaneously okay if you notice the right eight will be really looking like eight and the left eight would look like one zero and circle some scribbling all that initially but you keep practicing it you will know one fine day both will be symmetrical equal and perfectly fine simultaneously not one by one okay simultaneously so this these are exercises which will help you to enhance the right part of the brain also okay and why left and right should go hand in hand is your left is logical it understands words numbers but your right is visual it understands images it understands colors it understands creativity so goal setting should address both the parts of your brain and only then you will have the maximum efficiency of achieving that goal and within a stipulated time also you can achieve it so we are using the maximum capacity of our brain to achieve the goal that's the psychological aspect behind talking about the left part of the brain and right part of the brain now i might have just showed you this slide and i would have taken you through the exercise the reason why i'm concentrating more on the why is most of us have a very active left part of the brain and the logic is very important for us once we are convinced with the logic at least to some person that's when we will start moving one step or we will start taking one step of action till this are you with me or is it going over your head you can be honest till this are you with me All right i can see some thumbs up there all right great now let me tell you what i have done this is my jan um or let me just say 2024 goal since this is a forum and it is absolutely confidential i am going ahead and declaring that goal before you all for the first time even my family members don't know my goal and i know all of you won't judge so you won't laugh at me okay so i have just worked on my goal using that uh, sheet for the left brain and using that sheet for the right brain i have put it on the slide okay so this was the left sheet right you need to put your main goal you need to put the why because the left part of the brain likes logic why it likes the why 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 yeah why and then the sub goal sub goals are nothing but short goals okay or i take it as some steps which can help me to achieve the main goal yeah and then when you put the timeline and then how how will you do it the action steps and then who will support you okay depending on the goal would it be your leader who will help you to achieve this goal or would it be a mentor who will achieve, help you to achieve this goal or is it like a personal goal and if it is related to health would it be a doctor would it be a dietitian or would it be your you know partner or would it be a well wisher so depending on the goal the other you know things which you need to fill in keeps changing all right so i am going to tell you 2024 what is my goal and how i have used this template to fill in okay all right this is why i said don't laugh exercise okay it might look like a very simple thing trust me uh, i am in my 40s and it becomes very essential that i exercise yeah okay so um 2023 also this was my goal i'm going to be very honest with you you might be wondering okay jasmine you're talking about goal setting in 2023 you set this goal and you have not achieved it is it is it because of that you have put it here february i had a minor surgery okay so my goal went for a toss three months i couldn't exercise okay i'm not trying to say that is an excuse that was an advice which was given from the doctor so almost first five months i lost it right i couldn't exercise then when i started almost half the year was gone but in a week at least like you know the days when i don't have to wake up early for training session or traveling i have been doing it but it has not been regular i was not pretty satisfied with that one year 
So just to have consistency, I am taking this again as my main goal for 2024. I have put that in the center because that's my main goal. And the sub goal, what I have put is also take care of some other elements which can contribute to my health. Help, okay? Because exercise alone cannot help me. So I put it as balanced diet. Imagine I exercise and then evening I'm ordering burger and eating. I've been doing that been doing that last year or this year 2023 i should say yeah and eating burger is not going to help me because if i eat burger i have to really burn the calories a little more but i do, i'm not capable of it so i will not go for that i will rather put a balance up and then i believe the mind is also important for the body to exercise imagine that i'm in um somebody scolded me okay my husband does that now and then vijay knows him well Vijay, no, you know William for his temper, right? And William often compliments you, uh, saying like, Vijay never gets angry. Vijay is so patient. Qualities he doesn't have, he appreciates about you, you know? In this forum, I wanted to pass on that compliment to you. Huh? Okay? So healthy mind is important. So if I'm mentally disturbed, yeah, I cannot go ahead and exercise. There are days when I felt like upset in my mind and then I will sleep off. I'll do an oversleep. So I put that also as a sub goal, yeah. And how? How am I going to do it? Okay, let me just move to the left first. Sorry, people. I straight away went to the right. Left. Why is important? Start with the why. To look fit and healthy. For this, fit is very generic, okay? Because um, the definition for fit might be different for me and different for you. And for fit, you know, I have a picture uh, which I have kept in my separate template or presentation. That's the picture of another lady. But then I want to be like her. When I say that, not become like her. In terms of the health, I want to be fit like her. Not a celebrity and all that. I just uh, put up a picture of somebody whom I saw in the internet. Yeah. And then when? I've kept a long term for it. Yeah. Because um, when I went to the doctor, when he was talking about uh, BMI and all that, he said, do not keep an exaggerated goal of losing 5 kgs in a month. Not happening. Yeah. Try to keep 1 kg or 2 kgs or 1.5 kg. That's a realistic goal. In that way, throughout the year, if you have seen, you would have lost maybe 10 kgs or 8 kgs. Okay. So December 2024 is what I have kept. Then who is responsible here? It is mostly me. Okay. Because most of the time I work from home. So it is me. And who else can help in case if I'm planning to go to the gym, then it can be my gym trainer also. So the left part, let's fill it first. I'm sorry, you started with the right. Left part, let's fill it first. Why, when, who? And then I'm going to the sub goal. Not just exercise, balanced diet and healthy mind. When I say sub goal, these can be my short term goals and exercise can be my long term goal. Okay. Yeah. And then how? What are the action steps which I'm going to take? Exercise morning, specifically I'm writing one time. Not just exercise early morning. Early morning is not specific. 6 a.m. to 7 a.m. One hour. I'm giving a realistic time. Straight away, I'm not starting with two hours because I'm not a physical exercise person. Okay. So then I'm combining it with do yoga and breathing exercise. In that way, I can also take care of my mind. All right. And then how? Again, how? Follow a diet chart. Okay. In, that, in this, I can again subdivide. I can go ahead and write morning, what will I eat? Noon, what will I eat? An evening, what will I eat? And then drink eight glasses of water. I put that there. I can also make branches here furthermore. If it was a paper, it would have been easy for me. And then write whatever I want to do. So that when I just look at this template, it will be very easy for me to know, am I following this or not? Every day I can just look at it and then go back. Look at it and go back. But if I just keep it in my brain and think, then that is invisible. This is visible. So far, are you all with me? I've taken a generic example. I'll go into a specific example, which is relevant for you very shortly. Till this, are you all with me? Yes, no, maybe. Okay. Now, we are going to be very honest here, okay? If you have observed me, I've always been honest and transparent with you. Sometimes, I've not even felt embarrassed about sharing the truth with you, right? whether it is floods or whether it is like, you know, the exercise part, which I did not do 2023, though I set it on all that. So I want you all to be very honest with me also. How many of you mm, truly filled in that sheet? Put your hands up. 
how many of you truly filled in that sheet with your real goal which you want to achieve put your hand up thank you krishna prakash others in the video if you have put it, you can put your hand up if you have not don't raise your hand be true to yourself so krishna prakash was the only person is it okay now do you have at least a print out of it with you or do so you just i i uh, i've written in notebook i have that's roughly okay. notebook that's okay I, at least you've done something mm. i shared in whatsapp bro okay all right okay the others do you have a notepad and pen at least with you right now yes we also okay. the other yes. through the picture yeah have you put a real goal there when no. is the real goal not for the activity sake in your life what do you, because 2024 is coming up just in a week you don't have to spend separate time for that yeah you don't have to refine also here like krishna prakash said it can be a rough one you can like you know customize it later on take that notepad and pen or paper and pen and put your real goal in the center and fill in your why and fill in when and fill in who okay and then write the sub goals and how i'll give you two minutes to do that i am not going to let you all go without doing that okay because this is the most important part of goal setting and um, time and again last 5 minutes in sessions i usually spare it for the feedback form except those four five people who regularly fill me feedback none of the others fill feedback at all today i am not going to give you that 5 minutes however the same set of people are going to do it yeah so i don't care about the feedback it is going to only you know give me information whether it was fine or not but this one i am not going to let you go here you are going to sit there two minutes you are going to take for yourself and put in your goal okay put the real goal don't do it for my sake don't do it for anyone else's sake you won't get this time again put a real goal in the center why why do you want to do this that purpose is very important purpose should be useful for your life or else it won't motivate you okay when if possible try to put a professional goal if you have already written something else it's fine okay then who who will support you who will help you then put sub goals in the right side sub goals can be some other short term goal which will take you in the longer run towards the exercise or the main goal okay both can be interrelated and then how will you do it right just one or two action points enough because i know it's tough to think everything right away but at least put something then after the session you can elaborate on it because i can see nelson wondering what to write there are you thinking what to write nelson yeah just been thinking yeah i understand put some keywords now okay you don't have to make it a sentences i'll give you one more minute okay while you are doing that i would want to share something which uh, krishna prakash has shared with me let me take his permission first krishna prakash is it okay if i show just the first picture to the hi yes yes hi yes yes thank you uh, let me know if you can see it is this visible the whatsapp screen no oh, just me no now now also not visible no, i think you are at least blurred blurred okay wait what i'll do this is not our phone i will share it i will share it in the chat this one hmm i'll just try to share it in the chat
now i put it in the chat have a look please okay so i would like to give a big round of applause to krishna prakash for for doing this okay good you've done this which is very nice it's yes you well all right whatever you have written so far it's fine because you know we have limited time you can elaborate on it later starting is the first step you have started it okay forcefully or how you have started it but finished it that is important now let's go to the right part of the brain yeah the right brain goal mapping template was for pictures because the right part of the brain is very creative it likes colors it likes senses okay what are the five senses we have can anybody tell me this is generic okay this is not psychology and all that very generic five senses what are the five senses we have sense of smell touch touch ah auditory okay sound sound hearing kinesthetic yeah hearing also kinesthetic means you need to feel it okay emotion now how i have done this for my uh, goal look at this okay why okay i've got a guy's picture because the lady's picture's resolution is really high but the point is this right to become fit toned yeah so that i picture i've got now when december i can even put a calendar yeah december i can pick up from the calendar i can put that who myself so i put my picture and in case i'm going to gym then the gym trainer's picture will come here and then if you look at the sub goal i put a balanced diet a colorful picture of uh, vegetables fruits nuts and then for a healthy mind i have put a mind's picture and then how i'm supposed to do yoga breathing exercise you know all that and then follow diet chart bring glass of water since it's a presentation i've got very minimal pictures but then in a real sheet when i do i will add as many pictures as possible so what happens is it might look very simple oh for the words and pictures what's the difference your logical mind might think but the right part of the brain has already been motivated with these visual cues it will start motivating you to exercise better all right so far are you all with me now i wouldn't ask you to put pictures draw pictures and all that but let's take your professional goal imagine that your professional goal is in the main picture which is here instead of exercise um imagine that you're expecting a promotion no okay. let's just take it promotion and the promotion is a very generic word remember universe like specific and specific is terrific in the smart goal the first letter is specific okay so you will go ahead and put the designation the role you are aiming for i would not know what are the different roles which you have above yours now to so put that role yeah put that role and then you go to the why why do you want to get into that role if your answer yeah if your intention is um you know many of my friends in the other organizations they are in that role that's comparison think from your perspective why you want to be there all right your mind does it think you deserve it or your mind thinks that you are a hard working person smart working person you are supposed to be there do you consider yourself worthy or do you think okay if i am in this position then i can also do good whatever is it have a very nice intentional positive why no comparisons okay think for yourself and put that when timeline you know how the corporate company works sometimes it might be 3 years sometimes it might be 2 years it's okay take a realistic time frame don't put 5 years and all that okay put 2 or 3 years okay put that who yourself who else you might have a mentor in the office you might have a well wisher or you might be relying on your leader put that person's picture okay then the sub goals is something which you need to decide okay for me to get here would initiatives help would process improvement help can i do something in such a way that it impacts this networks it impacts this network clients okay 
so that it can benefit the ben, uh, you know organization as well as the process i am not the subject matter expert i wouldn't be able to tell you what to put there but i can give you a guideline as to think from the organization's perspective process perspective put those there okay because when you create an impact when you create a change for good obviously you will grow okay and then how will you do it okay what are the action steps for you to do this should you equip yourself from with some certification okay should you equip yourself with something else okay or should you just take step number 1 2 3 in your weekly routine in your monthly routine all right so how what are the action steps which you need to take it can be 10 steps it can be 5 steps but would you be able to do those 5 steps religiously okay that is what is important don't put 30 steps there and then get stuck what to do next you have limited time so depending on that what are the three four things which you can do? if you have taken initiatives okay one year how many initiatives can i run okay when i run this initiative how can i showcase myself okay and what can be the outcome of this initiative so everything you have to put it it has to be like a sop a standard operating procedure okay you have to put it in detail and this image chart might not be enough for you for that okay like krishna prakash said you want to write it in a diary or a notebook or a notepad or a soft copy fine do that and put only the cue pictures here okay when i say cue picture in the main uh, blue circle where the exercise is coming you put a manager's picture there or a designation there put it in nice color so that you will look at the designation and above that you put your picture okay with your role so visualize it yeah so in that way what will happen your career goal is taken care of. like this you can do it for your health you can do it for your family you can do it for buying a bike buying a car whatever it is what you put in return as well as imagery put together it will manifest faster all right and i can guarantee you that the success a uh, quotient will be higher for people who do this than the people who are just thinking about it and dreaming about it. i'm going to pause by now does this look believable or does it look oh this is like yeah you know because it is a stereotype thought okay nothing against you boys boys usually don't like to write much yeah they don't like to take notes <laughs> even during college you would have taken it from the girls okay not all the boys but some of them even in the movies that's how it's shown right so sometimes these are all like things which men usually do not like to do but if you want to be successful okay and you you would fix a smart step towards that even if you have never done written work in your life do only this and see how it works for you i'm sure it will help you okay i'm just looking at the ac because it's making a funny noise there all right i'm going to pause by any questions on this left part and right part body mind romba think panitt irukla it's already like you know thinking oh can i put that can i put this okay so you have just defined a plan okay elaborate on this plan after the session when your memory is fresh you are accountable for it i will not follow it <laughs> now what three steps to keep a consistent action define goal put all this artwork now what three steps to ensure that you carry it forward those three steps are the first one is clarity okay every month keep revisiting your goal okay now um last month certain things should have happened okay this month certain things should have happened certain things which happened have you ever thought that this this is how you know in the month of december certain things will happen you would have not but it has happened so there are a lot of changes which can happen in life so every 6 months or 3 months let's keep 3 months 3 months go ahead revisit and see if you have to make any changes there all right because you keep evolving all right and then the second step is stay focused there are a lot of distractions in this world the biggest distraction is whatsapp yeah there is not a minute when my daughter can study continuously without looking whatsapp i told her a 90 minutes rule okay i told her 90 minutes keep the mobile somewhere else do not look into whatsapp and then take a 10 minutes break 
move around see whatsapp do what you want and then see how fast you can study and luckily she listened to me she is able to study well she has her semester exams now stay focused distractions will be there only if you are focused you can get it done or else it will remain in the paper and the third one is the most important step which is surround yourself with positive people remember jay shetty's video if you want to give up on chocolate if you are going to work in a chocolate factory yeah or if you are going to be associated with a person who has a sweet tooth sweet tooth is what is they can eat morning noon and night like you know breakfast lunch and dinner they can eat chocolates yeah you can't be associated with people like that then it will be a temptation for you so surround yourself with people especially positive people and earlier uh, in when i began the session i asked you some reflective questions do you feel like that do you feel you are not educated do you feel like a victim whenever those doubts are coming in i want you to remember only one person okay we all know about bruce lee right all of you know about bruce lee you know who it is at least right bruce lee is there anybody who does not know bruce lee yes or no yeah, all of her no no but all right okay all right do you know this fact about bruce lee that one of his legs was one inch shorter than the other let me say that again do you know that for bruce lee one of the leg was shorter seishadri knows do you know that yes sir wonderful thank you because only recently i came to know that okay it is a fact and nobody would have really guessed that because his way of kicks or his way of stunts was really really unique and when it comes to his vision he was a minus 10 okay when it comes to his vision minus 10 when his opponent is there he can only see a blurred image of them so he had a lot of physical difficulties yet he was the best in what he did so it is not necessary that you have physical challenges or education or monetary whatever can be the challenge do not be logical there just believe what you want to achieve put that into written as well as pictures and surround yourself with positive people focus on it keep revising it once in a while to have clarity and i am very positive that you will manifest your goal okay and i would like to before we could go to the scenarios um say this particular uh, quote with you which is uh, by jim ron he's a famous speaker goal setting is powerful because it provides focus it shapes our dreams it gives us the ability to hone in on the exact actions we need to perform to achieve everything we desire in life so all that we have learned in one quote it is put there okay now so this was a quick summary of what we have seen so far now we are going to go into the scenarios all right questions we'll discuss later the first scenario is lack of awareness about short term and long term goals how to set it right sometimes there is a difficulty to be specific but now that we have learned about certain things around the yes which is in the smart goal specific uh, i'm going to ask you all a question now are you able to differentiate between short term and long term goal that clarity has it come to some extent what is the meaning of silence yes or no okay uh let me ask this question since seishadharan has also given a thumbs up okay seishadharan what is the short term goal you have in mind short term my that that um okay seishadharan one minute this kind of one screeching sound did you all hear or was it happening only for me it's happening to all all okay see shadran when you unmute yourself there is a strange sound coming up if you don't mind put your short term goal in the chat okay and if you are a person who doesn't want to reveal your goals and it is highly confidential i'm okay with that also okay you don't have to reveal but are you clear about what can be a short term goal and what can be a long term goal are you clear till that yeah just mean short term goal is uh, uh, i want to become a within a two year month or like that only 
uh, are coming to long term goal it's uh, about the future i i'm going to that one like that one mm. okay thank you for sharing that palmi okay and remember your short term goal and long term goal can be integrated in that way you will not be working on separate tangents all right now second scenario during performance review members come up empty handed without any vision and plans to contribute and enhance themselves instead they sometimes say you should be knowing about me all right so unable to be measurable the first thing as an employee uh, who is working for an organization you should be accountable for your actions your performance okay though there is a tool a system to monitor measure you should be in a position to go to a meeting and say these are the things which i have done for this uh, six months these are my initiatives these are my special points how am i different from the usual kra you should be in a position to put it in a measurable format and anybody in a corporate world can believe only numbers and outcomes nobody will go ahead and sit there and say oh both of us are good friends i have done so many good things you were right there and you appreciated you clapped for me you said good words you sent email no this is not working okay corporate is corporate they have a process during that appraisal time you are supposed to go ahead and voice out things which can come up with numbers and out and you need to be specific about what you are talking yeah that is your accountability recently i have started to do this okay sometimes when people make me upset uh, earlier i used to think why are they like this now i have started saying i am accountable for my happiness they have only said it once i am running it in my mind for 10 times who is making really who unhappy i am only making myself unhappy so i am started saying i am accountable for my actions to so start practicing that in your life also you are accountable for your actions you are also accountable for saying it al aloud and then the result of good appraisal higher appraisal salary all that is an external factor on which you don't have control right i'm not going to spend much time on this scenario now the third one timelines competency based evaluation fail because people procrastinate or delay or conveniently forget their committed targets and focus on irrelevant objectives two things here one is you need to have always relevant objectives that's why when i spoke about setting a career goal i said put a goal in such a way where you want to achieve that was just an example or this year i want to do so many initiatives and then gain that visibility in the organizations it can be that also for you to achieve that you need to map it along with the organization goals if you are going to go on your own track that will become irrelevant for them okay so that's why have a match your goal is this this goal how is it contributing to this networks how is it contributing to your team see the relevance there and keep a timeline which is also beneficial for the process if you are going to do a process improvement within the next 3 years within that 3 years there will be many people will be gone itself from the organization keep very stringent timeline scenario 4 i'm going to ask one of you to read it gopi krishnan can you read this scenario for us please and realistic aspiration are absurd while members rate their own performance out of 5 point scale and don't have adequate awareness about the difference between meeting the expectation versus exceeding the expectation reality rating 5 out of 5 is almost impossible even for a ceo of a company all right thank you now this has happened to me okay when i was working in a certain corporate organization um during the performance appraisal there is a rating scale of only 5 mostly okay 1 to 5 5 being the highest i used to think okay let me put 5 only then when the supervisor is going ahead and revising how would they won't agree with me then at least i'll get a 4 from 5 they will maybe reduce me to 4 but not 3 this was my thought process okay i was very transparent and honest with you if that was your thought process okay when it comes to leaders they'll be trained to go ahead and ensure that they rate you according to your uh, performance or because of the bell curve due to which from uh, four you have to go down that's a different story that is not even in their control but then they are trained that way so you don't have to have a stereotype assumption 
okay if i put five at least four will come no you don't have to have because i realized it a little lead, later when i became a leader and there were reportees for me because i never used to do that if they have put four i will go ahead and see why they have put four during the discussion i'll ask them and i'm convinced they have enough proof i will let it stay as four i will let it stay as four very rarely i have made it as 4.5 also that's how the leaders will be they wish you good right so come out of that thought process if that was the reason and um i understand that you think you have done well and that is your thought and now when it comes to a leader he or she has the responsibility to take the final call so if they are thinking okay it was only 3 this time or 3.5 this time try to find out why from and then work towards it for the next 6 weeks yeah and then the next time they should not have any any at all any reason at all uh, to put you in that 3.5 at all or 4 at all okay they should straight away think oh this guy doesn't give me any choice then putting in in 4.5 or 4 whatever okay i'm just randomly taking numbers okay and the last scenario is people fail to set goals in sync with organizational objectives client centric goals and individual aspirations as a result they miss out on win win strategy okay we did not i think take a session on negotiation skills in negotiation skills the ideal situation a person or two parties should be in is a win win situation okay what do i mean by that i get few things which are beneficial you get few things fear which are beneficial both of us are happy win lose is what i win you are losing like that okay so win win will be an ideal strategy now for us to be win win i said this in the beginning also um oh this is my goal yeah but when you are working with an organization make your career goal in sync with the organization goal or a client goal or a process goal for you to do this first of all you should know what is an organization goal or a client centric goal or a process goal all right so ask yourself this question do you know what is your organization goal do you know what is your client centric goal or do you know what is your process goal okay ask yourself this question and if you do not know the answer it is still fine not everybody knows everything go ahead check with the right resource what are the answers for these questions make a note of it on a piece of paper or a soft copy when you devise your goal try to map it in line with this so that there is high relevance i'm going to pause by now any questions suggestions discussions you want to have please open up and share your thoughts Nelson, just go ahead. my question is uh, you said about uh, rating 5 out of 5 is almost impossible even for the ceo Uh, why it's not a five out of five? Because uh, you said when you go for a, if I, my professional, uh, I mean my ultimate goal is to be a leader. I want to be a great leader. If I am hundred percent confident, then only the outcome will be hundred percent. So if I go in a university exam, I write for hundred hundred marks in the sense I have to attempt all the hundred percent. Then only I will get ninety five percent. I mean seventy five percent or whatever. So if I go on, if in the perspective of I, if my rating is four point two, I just want to write the exam for seventy five marks. How the outcome will be? in the 100% okay, okay. Uh, any thanks for the question because yeah you also agreed in the later stages it's 4.5 it's not valued uh, coming to this uh, can you express in little bit detail sure sure okay thank you for the question um i would like to answer this question with a question and then i will get on to sharing my perspective mm -hmm. now college life and corporate life and the quantifying metrics which you said are they the same or are they different no i am not uh, that corporate university exam is example just when we compared with the, i just want to be a uh, great leader uh, i just want to go to work on the field with the 60% or 70% to the field i just want to put the 100% for even though it's a flood uh, when we go to the field when we have to put the effort into the 100% then will be the outcome will become as uh, 75 or 80 but when you go and work with the 75% of our, i mean the work done so probably the results will be lesser than 75% that's what i just want to compare that uh, university exam as an example so But i that is a mindset that is a mindset nelson that is what i was trying to tell you 
just because you know of the fact earlier we have done during our school or college okay i've done this much if i write this much only i will get at least this we are carrying on with that same mindset here also what i'm trying to tell you is though you are giving your 100% it is not mandatory that you should never rate yourself as five having said that the other person who is the decision maker gets to take a call whether it is a five or a four try your best not to have that mindset okay if i put 5 only then i'll get at least 4.5 that's that was the point which i was trying to convey it was about the mindset which i was talking because i used to have that mindset i used to think if i put 5 only then i'll get 4.5 why would i rate myself low was my thought so i was just talking about the mindset there but if you are giving a 100% you have the substantial proof that you have done this and you are very confident go ahead and put it and then the leader takes the final call saying from my perspective from the experience which i have seen so far i think you have potential to scale up a little more let's go ahead and revise this as five or so next six months down the line then let them take a call so it was talking about the mindset and uh, vijay is also putting in the chat about the representation of each of these so i think this is what uh, jazz is exactly told so the level playing field in school and corporate is completely different for example i will give you a scenario yeah uh, my kid was into chess for a very long time right so and then during the fourth standard he discovered that his physical skills are more right uh, than the mental abilities or to express to perform he felt that he somehow he is performing more in terms of his athletic skill sets okay then the um, let's say like uh, uh, playing with the mind mindset or uh, a game which is to do something with sedentary skill set he is not that kind of guy he want to move around and achieve things right mm. so do you see that the sport is entirely different the first sport he picked is chess right that is cool let's compare that and second sport is something related to athletics maybe a corporate right so that is why exactly jazz is told these two are different first of all people should realize and uh, listen to the question why he he has put this kind of simile right how you been rated in academics at school is entirely different from corporate so people are trying um i don't say like uh, they're not completely getting this point itself because it's a different animal altogether corporate is a different you know a, a set of ball game to play right so here um uh, correct me if i'm wrong uh, jazz see yeah. one in corporate rating is unacceptable if someone rates you after a performance is unacceptable right so nobody can bear with it because we have put heart and soul into it for past 12 months how you can rate me here is the data okay right now you have to put a self rating as one okay and or two or three or four no one will put themselves as one or two right now you have to give some time for the manager or the leader to rate right according you might have rated yourself as let's say five okay just see this go through all this one hour of training program and think about the smart goals specific measurable achievable realistic is it realistic first of all outstanding in a corporate cannot even earn by a ceo if he puts himself as outstanding then he need to close his business and go away because most of the businesses run in entrepreneurship nowadays right they they keep learning even google if you see on the right side it is put as a beta right they've been in the industry for a very long time but they themselves call as beta that means they this testing it is in progress nothing like a fully see nothing like a god here right it it's a, it's a evolution it evolves every time right so that is the space every corporate leader will give for four and five exceeding the expectation means again uh here people have to digest the fact that exceeding expectation has got a lot of sub goals into it right so you have to follow up and follow through right watch me words follow up and follow through right you have to first set a goal and then implement a goal how you've been consistent 
All right. Throughout this training program, uh, nine segments that we attended, what I personally learned um, is to be agile, right, and to stay relevant and be consistent. Only those people will earn exceeding the expectation. Right. So one day you might found it like uh, January, February, March is a very good season for me, right? So internally and, and externally, I felt very calm, cozy. I was able to perform. Next three months, April, May, and June, it's a hot summer for me. I'm unable to perform, right? And then comes July, August, and September. So here, it's a kind of rainy, right? I will perform accordingly. So this is not how it's been gauged in corporate, okay? So outstanding, exceeding the expectation has got certain meaning to it. Meeting the expectation is the one I hard earn for myself. I keep it to myself, right? So here don't think that corporate scales will vary you do you need to understand in corporate there is a bell-shaped curve what employees always feel right, throughout my journey from 2000 to 2023 what employees used to feel is oh it's just a junk that you guys give me a kind of you no know, picture in a bell-shaped curve it is not like that right so bell-shaped curve has got certain meaning to it if you want to spread across uh, if you learn statistics, there is something called a standard deviation, right? So there is a skewered center in the bell shape curve. On the left and the right, it's been equally um, you know, spread across. So we have to give, if you have five rupees, I have to give to this, you know, 13 members, 14 members equally spread across. Right? And at the same time, we have to give the right value for the work that you did okay so that is what the meeting the expectation people nowadays that is the young crowd not even digesting the fact that meeting the expectation itself is great right and uh, the the room that you're giving for yourself is exceeding the expectation that has got certain you know sub goals following up process and implementing certain things initiatives right so these many things are there right? maybe a body leader was already outperformed with certain thing, I need to give that to, right? First, you need to demonstrate. Usually, um, people who are like high achievers, they don't talk much, right? Like uh, empty vessels make more noise. Like if you tell that, it will be a kind of, you know, um, it is a wrong statement for a manager. So he keeps everything for you himself, right? But he observes in front of him, he clearly knows who is performing, who is not performing. But how he need to actually you know, tell this or convey this fact to an employee. Because the employee always feels that I'm outstanding. What is the rating scale for outstanding? Right? So this need to be discussed. I think that is what Jazz is coming to explain. Sorry for the long explanation that I took. Yeah, so that, that's okay. To... okay. I think Vijay, this is a forum where since we are making this as an exclusive session only for WIS networks, and the scenarios also is picked up around that, and the questions are also coming around that. It is fair that you know you are here and you are also explaining because as a leader, you would be able to explain it to this extent than me. So thank you for pitching in. So you can have more discussions around it like later on with Vijay or in the group also. So we have covered five scenarios so far. Yeah. We're almost towards the last leg of our training session. I'm going to just pause by here and ask you all that um, these 10 sessions, 10 weeks, you all took the effort, time, and consistency and commitment to come in here and show up and then go ahead and uh, implement the learning also. So give yourselves a big round of applause to each one of you. You can unmute and clap or you can clap using the emoticon also. I leave it up to you. Okay? You deserve this, absolutely. Yeah, It is not easy 10 weeks to show up on a Sunday like this for sessions. You lived up to your commitment. And that itself is a great start. Yeah. Now I'm going to just quickly come up with a funny hat because it's time for our uh, picture. All right. I'm going to stop sharing the screen. Let's all come up on the picture video. Guys, whoever is not on video, please come. I'm going to go off video. Do something and come back. Okay. And you will know why I went off video a little late. Okay, Pragadish is on video. 
Rahul, please come on video. Okay, here I am ready with my Christmas cap. Okay, this is why I went off video. Uh, okay. So we have got 13 people. We have got only 11 people on video. Who is not there? Palani is here. Mageshwaran. Mageshwaran, can you come on video please? Just for the photo. Ah, you are there. Thank you, Mageshwaran. Who else is not there on video? Makes it only 12. One more. Who's the black sheep who's not coming there on with you? Rahul. Mm. Rahul, please come. Don't be shy. Just one picture. Not even done. This will happen only during this time for you now. Okay. All right. Never mind. So we are running short of time. So I'm going to take a quick picture. Uh, look at the camera and smile. Okay. Yeah. Ready? One, mm -hmm. two, three. All right. Let me put that in the chat. Oh, go on mute. Uh, go on mute, please. Okay, Shadran's mic only is acting funny today. Look at the picture. Are you happy? Have you smiled well? Do you want me to take one more? Okay, so two things which I wanted to say. My marketing team is work on, working on your certificates. I'll come back with it sooner. I'll communicate it to Vijay. All right. The second thing is, I would like to have an intervention with all of you, a 60 minutes conversation. Um, today we are in 24th. I want to have that conversation after the Pongal, all that festi festivities are over towards the last week of January. The reason is in that way, you would have ample of time to practice your learning. Okay. And then you would also have time to go through the learning. Yeah. And then you would also able to say some impacts which has happened. So this will give you time. So I, I said three things. Practice the learning. Talk about the impact. Implement the learning. So have one or two points around it so that when we meet, you'll be able to share that with me. Okay. So with that note, I'll hand it over to Vijay. Vijay, you can say some closing notes and then we can call it a day. Oh, sure. Thanks a lot, Jess. So it's been a long journey and uh, it's not that easy for a trainer, right? To equip, though we say like customized training program can cater to any need. No, it's not like that. So these kind of training programs um, have to be charged more. First of all, uh, we thank Jazz for a nominal fees is being charged for this, right? Very less. And yep. uh, it's it's a kind of you know, baby step for everyone out here because uh, many um, who have been our attendees are like new to corporate, right? Except a few like Madan and all, they've been there. But so it's, it's a great journey, but like a stepping stone, they met a right leader. They met a you know, right trainer to you know walk through it's kind of you no know, a lighthouse session i should call so they've been running here and there like a boat or a ship right we might not know they can even become a, a big you know a gigantic a titanic right but for even for a titanic you need a lighthouse right so you need to know a kind of you no know, pathfinder so way to show a way so how to reach a shore so that kind of you know uh, uh, feeling or a kind of you no know, mood all are in so i think over these sessions, they got some clarity, right? So towards the end of this uh, 10 sessions, we got 10 valuable video, right? So these videos should be, you know, um, listen, watched again, and again, whenever you have certain, you know, barriers or whenever you have certain, you know, hindrance or a hurdle. So you have to listen to it and uh, it should be cherished forever. And please do share this and, uh, this will always set your goal clear. And one thing I have to accept, like I'm going to set my goals because uh, I have to take some time because I have to use this left and the right brain practice uh, a bit you know, serious because I have uh, three important goals for 2024. I have to accept this before we end the session. So one is for my personal health, right? 
and second is for my mental health right so i've kept a lot of you know books ebooks everything piled up for i need to clear off second thing is um i was just um jas was telling about exercises yoga these are all hardcore very good exercises right so at least if you can't do an exercise you have to take up an activity like running walking so these are all activities right anybody can do this cycling anybody can do this but if you can take up an exercise that will be really great like yoga going to a gym and other things so that is also part of my kitty and third important thing is i have to set a goal for all you guys right so all you young fellows 50 members are there i have to discuss with my partner about these goals right so roles and responsibilities uh, need to be changed revamped and uh, i need to discuss that with you all so it, for all these areas this session played a very you know central point for me right and uh, i appreciate each and every one and who been part of the season 2 as well because season 1 we had a crowd i know that there are certain practical difficulties they've been into weekend shift they have to handle other things i i truly understood that but you guys i have to uh, give a special appreciation because um, this appreciation is not for being with us so far but whatever you going to do from here right that journey is going to be a long tail so i i read a book called long tail right so you might have seen certain cine stars right so rajinikanth kamal so they been see i i'm not a 90s kid i'm just 80s kid even from my days so these people whom so i told right they have been running their uh, Uh, the journey their milestone forever like that out of all the corporate is in the ocean but all these guys right whom so were took some time to realize at least you need to have a long run from here the next immediate goal for you guys is to become a senior associate right the next immediate goal should be a buddy lead lead right and the technical lead technical consultants senior technical consultants first you need to identify your role right so realize each and every session that we attended right a motivation or a goal setting right a session which actually enhanced your skill set writing skills spoken skills right so that or all certain tactics and strategies we were able to give you uh, in a platter right so if you can get benefited out of it then results should also show up that is what we call it as roi okay so i think So that kind of you no know, reflection session will also happen with Jess. So that's why she is giving us some time, right? So within the short time, I think we have to clear off the clutter. Like what I've told right now, I have certain goals for myself. You have to put down in paper for sure, because the muscle memory pays a lot. Okay, so that is one big takeaway from this session. You have to put down your goals. You have to put down your aspirations. and then clear off you can even put down your 20 different goals and finally strike off to a 3 or a 2 so that will be a powerful goal for 2024 right so with that great message so merry christmas and happy new year to each and every one and convey my wishes to your family as well right so let's start this new year with a hope with a strong motivation right and 2024 will be a great year for each and every one guys thank you thank you everyone and then this intervention which we are talking about that's not chargeable okay only we require your presence it will be a 60 minutes time and again thank you vijay for organizing this being there extracting time on a sunday and thanks to each one of you guys have a great new year stay safe all right wishes to your family blessings to all of you and um, i'm going to just stop the recording and uh,